everyone, Barbie here. Welcome back to the You Can Be Anything series. Today, we are exploring with the amazing Jane Goodall, playing games with new friends, and learning about chimps from Dr. Tensia. So stick around. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anything. Hello, everybody. I'm Jane Goodall, or Dr. Jane, and I'm what's known as an ethologist, that's somebody who studies behavior, in my case, chimpanzee behavior. I dreamed when I was 10 years old that I would go to Africa, live with wild animals, and write books about them. Everybody laughed at me except my mother, and she said, if you really want to do this, you've got to work really hard, take advantage of every opportunity, and if you don't give up, you'll find a way. I think when I look back on those early years of research, the best years of my life, by the way, it was seeing the first chimpanzee to lose his fear of me, David Greybeard, using pieces of grass to fish termites from their mounds. So David Greybeard was using and making tools to fish for termites. And at that time, science had decided that only human beings used and made tools. And the fascinating thing about animals is all these different species have different behaviors that have evolved to fit into different kind of lifestyles. And it's endlessly fascinating. We're still finding so much new every day. Hi, Jane. I'm Kayla. And I'm Valentina. We're so excited to learn more about you and how to explore nature. What are some things you learned about animals while studying in Africa? I think one of the most important things that I've learned about animals in all the years that I've been out there is that every single individual animal has his or her own personality. It's not just chimpanzees making up a complicated society, rather like our human society, except that they don't speak. We're out on a hike and taking field notes. What should we be looking for? I would be looking for how many different kinds of birds do I see? What are they doing? Do I catch a glimpse of some little furry animal? What is it? What was it doing? And then also there are the amazing plants. How many plants do you find? Do you know the names of them? If you don't know the names of them, somebody perhaps can tell you. I used to make many drawings and then I would show those drawings to a teacher and the teacher would be able to tell me, well, that's such and such a bird or that's such and such a plant. Is this how you made your discoveries? Oh, gradually, as I went on more and more hikes, I learned more and more, and I learned to see more and more things and be interested in the insects and what's under that fallen log, let's have a look, and then put it carefully back. And the field notes give you a, a history, a story, of how you gradually learned more and more. It is so empowering to see women who have followed their dreams. It really shows us that we can be or do anything and everything we want. I'm truly loving the girl power we're seeing here. So let's see what we get to do next. Do you want to play a game with us? See if you can guess the animal with us. These are pretty tough. Do you think you can get the right answer? Tiger. Tiger. Yes! Did you know tigers have stripes so they can blend into tall grass and trees? Cheetah. Oh, a cheetah. Yeah, cheetah. How many spots do you think the average cheetah has? The average cheetah has around 2,000 spots, and all cheetahs have their own unique pattern. Le oh, it looks like a leopard. Leopard? Yeah. Jaguar? Jaguar? <laughs> Did you know the spots on a leopard and jaguar are called rosettes because they look like roses? I love roses! Jaguars have large rosettes that have spots in them. Leopards have small and solid rosettes. 
giraffe. giraffe. <laughs> yes! Do you know how many spots an average giraffe has? An average giraffe has around 200 spots for camouflage. Back to you, Barbie! We live in a world of endless possibilities. So next up, we have a special guest who is going to share what she does and how you can dream big, just like her. Hello, my name is Dr. Rebecca Tencia. I'm the executive director of the Jane Goodall Institute in Congo, in Republic of Congo. I'm from Spain. And since I was very little, I always loved to be in nature. The sanctuary of Chimpunga was created to rescue chimpanzees, rescue them, rehabilitate them, and release them back into the wild. I love to work with chimpanzees. They are so curious. They have uh, emotions. They love, they hate. They have uh, friends, they have enemies. They are so much like us. And sometimes you understand more about the human behavior when you see chimpanzee behavior. Did you know that chimpanzees are our closest living relatives? We share 98% of DNA with chimpanzees and many other things like kindness and being so smart. Chimpanzees communicate through noises called vocalizations. Different chimpanzee calls mean different things. Dr. Jane Goodall often uses the chimpanzee call no a panhood, which means hello, I'm Jane. <laughs> If you really care for animals and you want to do your career with animals, there are many ways. You can be a scientist like Dr. Jane Goodall. You can be a veterinarian like myself. You can be a conservationist and work with communities. You can be a caregiver. There are many ways. The thing is to, to have passion in the thing that you do and passion in the thing that you, you are going to do in the future and think that anything that you want is possible. And just remember that you can be anything. What can I do to help the environment? I began Roots and Shoots with just 12 high school students who wanted to help in different ways. Roots and Shoots, the main message, every single one of us makes an impact on the planet every single day and we can choose what sort of impact we make. And secondly, because in the rainforest, I learned how every little plant and animal is interconnected. They all have a role to play in this beautiful, complex web of life. And you may feel that what you're doing is just something small and insignificant, and that may make you feel kind of hopeless. But just remember when hundreds and thousands and millions of people just like you are all doing something to make the world better. Wow, we make a huge difference. You can go for a walk in nature, learn to love it, and then protect it. Thanks for teaching us about nature and animals, Dr. Jane. You're the best, Dr. Jane. And remember, you can be anything. Thanks a million for hanging out with me and our super talented new friends. Aren't they so inspiring? It's great to hear how people are following their dreams. It reminds us that you can be anything. See you next time. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anything. <laughs>